Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to do a soft vignette in any shape that you like. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, check out my channel for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos, and if you really want to learn how to use Adobe's Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training courses, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to this project, and we'll start by closing this file down and go back to our original image right here. Now, the first thing we need to do here is just to make a duplicate of this background, right click and duplicate layer, choose okay. Now, this is the original image. We'll be changing the background down here. So I actually wanna have one of these saved as a background just in case, and also one saved to work on. So let's right click on this and duplicate layer again. There we go. So this is just my safety right here. This is going to be changed and here's our working image. Now I want to put the girl about center in the picture. So I'll just use the move tool over here and let's just pull her down so she's about, about center right in here someplace. Now notice how we're going off the screen here. If I just hide that, we're losing all that background stuff in there. We need to fill that back in again, but it's not really that critical in here because of course this is soft focus so we can do almost anything back there and make it look pretty nice. So we'll do that by just copying in some of this additional background stuff and I can actually use this basic layout here to do that for us. So I'm going to make a, another copy of our background, right click, duplicate layer, choose OK. Let's just pull that up underneath this layer. So again, here is our original background. We'll be changing this. Here's our safety. And then I have two layers here we're working on for our image. On this, we need to just hide this seam right here. And we need to, of course, hide her head in there as well. And that can all be done pretty easily. I want to merge these two layers together. So click on the top layer, hold the control key down, click on the second layer, right click on the name of the layer, and then come down here to merge layers. They're now just one layer. And then with a little bit of work, we can simply soften up that edge. I'll grab the clone stamp tool over here. That's a pretty good size for this. That's 200, let's say 200 pixels on this one. The size you'll be using for your brush will depend upon the size of your photo. In this particular photo, 200 works out just fine. I'm just going to come right down here, hold the Alt key down, I'll click on a spot right there. I'll just pull that straight up and I'm just going to put that right across the top like that. We'll change that around just a little bit in a second. Let's come down here, grab a little bit down here and pull this in. Just to make it look a little bit different. I'm just kind of coming in here and changing things around just a bit is really not going to show. Let's now take some of this and bring it over here. Hold the Alt key down, left click, and let's just bring some of that in. Now, if you go too far, it's going to bring in, I'll show you right here, if you go too far, it's going to bring in some of that top edge. So if that happens, let's say I'm right here, and I come down here, you can see that edge right there. I'll just use the Control Z keyboard, shrink it to undo that. Now I have a soft edge on my brush, I don't want to go too close to her head. So let's do it here, we'll then fix it with a harder edge brush. Left side this time. Alt key, I'm gonna come right down here and click, and let's just pull some of that straight up. There we go, that solves that area. And then let's just hide that bit of lines up in here. There we go. We can now pull some of this over towards the right hand side and come in a little bit closer to our head, but not too far. And again, because we have a soft background and we're coming in with a layer mask on this, it's gonna hide a lot of that stuff in there. It's not really gonna show. Put some just some variations in there just for interest. Okay, let's now come in and fix that bit right above her head. That little line right there. For that, I want a much smaller brush. Back to our clone stamp tool. Bring a brush size way down, maybe about 30 or so. And let's set this to a hard edge. Well, there's a hard edge at 19. I'll rechange this or reset this to 30. And the reason for the hard edge is I want to be able to come in right up against this, right in here, like that. Now, it's gonna look a little weird, but we'll come in and clean that up just a second. I'm just gonna hide that edge a bit right there. Okay, let's now soften this down. This is just because we're working in so close to that edge. We want to do it as a couple of steps. Okay, soft, I'm doing a 65 brush. And let's now come in and just soften up some of these areas like that. And work in just carefully right here. We don't want to get into the head. We don't want to change that hair at all. Here we need to get rid of, right there, that's good. And then a little bit of a line right up in there. Okay, that should be just fine. Maybe just a touch right in there. Let's go back out to fit screen. 
That looks fine. So we have our image now centered and we've cleaned up that background, given us some space to work with. Again, not that critical because it is out of focus. If your background was in focus, this would be a bit more difficult and this may not have worked because of that top edge. You may have to you know, reposition your person in a different position in the mask to make this work out. Okay, there's our working image. Let's now come over and put in our basic mask shape. Now again, this is for any shape at all. I'll be using the custom shape option right down here. If you click up here and go to all elements shapes, there are just loads and loads of shapes. Anything will work as long as it has a large black area like that, large thick area, because the image is going to go inside of where it's showing as black. So if I did this, the image would be inside that black part and it would look really odd. So anything is fine. I'll just be using this hexagon shape right here. So click on your shape. You should see it down here. I'll come over here someplace, click and drag. Let's make a, just a big shape like that. If you hold the shift key down, you can get a perfectly straight and symmetrical shape. It's like that's about the right size there. Go to the move tool and let's just recenter. Now I can't really see where it is right now. So let's change our opacity down about halfway. And now I can position that so she looks good in the image. I think right about here is pretty good. Go back to full opacity on that. Okay, so far so good. Now. Here's the trick, hold the control key down, click on the thumbnail for that shape layer, and that makes a selection around your shape layer. You can now hide that layer, we're done with that. Come down to your image layer right here and hit the layer mask button. And there's our layer mask. We're gonna soften this up in just a bit, but first we need to change our background now. So for that, let's come down to graphics. I have mine set at backgrounds and I'll just be using this blue gradient in here. Now we'll be doing a soft edge on this. So you want a soft background. If I put in something with a lot of detail, it's going to look really odd. So you want to have a soft background for a soft edge vignette. That one's fine. Click on that. There's the background change. Look at our layers again. You see right there. That's why we made a copy of the background up here to begin with because I was going to be changing this. We'd lose our original image. So there's our background. There's our copy. And now we want to soften down the edge of this and make it into a nice vignette. Click on the right hand side here, look for your light blue outline. There it is. And then go up to filter, come down to blur and Gaussian blur. And here you can set any blur level you want. There is no blur. I'm just going to pull this up slowly to the right hand side. And notice how the edge of that shape gets softer and softer as I pull this up. And that's the trick to getting a soft edge vignette in any shape that you want. Any black shape you've copied your shape from onto your layer mask can be turned into a soft edge vignette just using the Gaussian blur on the layer mask right there. Let's choose OK. And there we go. There is a hexagonal soft edge vignette. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Check out my channel for hundreds more Photoshop Elements videos and take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements and the link is right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.